All right, this lesson, what we're going to attack is writing equations again. We just finished up writing equations in the previous lesson. But this time, it's going to involve parallel and perpendicular lines. So going back, what we want to remember again is that parallel lines are two lines that are in the same plane that will never intersect. And so what happens there is that we find out that those two lines will have equal slopes kind of talk about sometimes the slope and rate of change again if I have two cars that are both doing 60 miles an hour the one in the back is never going to catch the other one okay because they're going at the same rate same idea with your parallel lines if they're going at the same rate or the same slope they'll never run into each other perpendicular lines on the other hand a couple of things that happen there we talk about the product of their slopes is equal to negative one okay and if we look at a diagram of what may be happening here, so say here's my first line and here's my second line. Okay. The slope of this first line, okay, because it's decreasing, is negative. And the slope of this second line is increasing, so it's going to be positive. So if we take a positive value and a negative value together, again, the product of those two is going to be negative. Now, the only situation where this could cause a problem is when you think about a vertical line and a horizontal line. Okay, because a horizontal line, we could look at that one. You have a slope of zero. Okay, any product involving zero is going to be zero. But again, you should recognize the idea that horizontal and vertical are always going to be perpendicular. Okay, another idea that sometimes we'll talk about with perpendicular lines is that they're opposites of the reciprocal. So, for instance. If line number one had a slope of four, and okay, to get the slope of my second one, it would be the opposite. And so what we're going to do there is change our sign. So it would be negative. And then of the reciprocal, so we want to flip that number over again. So four, four over one, becomes one fourth. Okay, so one of the things that you'll run into from time to time is, is it possible for these two lines to be perpendicular. Number one, you have to look at the sign. If their signs are the same, obviously they can't have a product that's negative. Okay, so the big thing we do is we write equations when we talk about a line that goes through a given point, and it's also parallel to another line. Okay, so if I were going to go in and plot this point, 7, negative 2, and get me to this point right here, and then if I were to go in and graph this equation, nicely it's in my slope intercept form so I have an intercept of negative 9 my slope is negative 3 now here's a little thing that you can look at if I make it a fraction negative 3 over 1 if I go down 3 first I'm going to run out of room so what I can do is I can come in there and I can switch the signs and switch both signs numerator and denominator so now I have a positive 3 which means I'm going to go up 3 and then a negative 1 in the x direction means to the left one Okay, so there's this line that I'm talking about. Now, the one that I want, the line that I want to write an equation for is this line that is going through this point and at the same time is parallel to the red line. Okay, didn't draw those two lines very parallel, but... What we're looking at again is if I have parallel lines, they have equal slope. So over here, the slope of this line that I graphed was negative 3. So the slope of the line that I'm trying to come up with the equation for has to have the same slope since it's parallel, okay, also negative 3. And so now what I have is a slope negative 3 and I have a point 7 negative 2 meaning I can use point slope form so y minus the y coordinate negative 2 becomes plus 2 your slope is negative 3 x minus your x coordinate and there's an equation. And like we saw in the previous lesson, you can rewrite it in a different form if you need. Okay. Notice I did not use that 9 at all. And that's a common error that people think that they have to do something with that 9. 
Okay, no, that equation is given to you simply to get a slope to help you write the equation. <clears throat> Same type of situation. I got a point over here at negative 5, 3. All right, 1, 2, 3. Okay. And I have a line, 2x plus 7y equal negative 8, that I want to have an equation for the line that's perpendicular to it. So again, if I use intercepts method because of the fact we're dealing with standard form, if I let x be 0, okay, I'm going to get y to be about a negative 8 over 7. Okay, so we can do some review here. So what I have then is 0, negative 8 over 7, which is a little more than negative 1. If I come back then and let y be equal to 0, I'm going to divide both sides by 2, so negative 4 is going to be my x-intercept. So here's the line that was given to us. And what I want to do again is come up with an equation for this black line this time so that it will be perpendicular to the red line. Okay. So again, if I'm writing the equation for the black line, what I have is a point. What I need to have then is a slope. Okay. Again, this is here only for us to get a slope. And remember the idea again, if it's a standard form, what we can do is take the opposite of A. So in this case, the opposite of 2 is negative 2 over B, which in this case is 7. Okay. That's the slope for my red line. Perpendicular, opposite, so we change the sign to positive. Reciprocal, flip it over, 7 halves. Okay. So with that black line, I have a slope now, and I have a y-intercept. So I now want to write that equation. Again, notice that 1 is positive, 1 is negative. So I have a point, I have a slope, so I can write point-slope form. So y minus my y-coordinate, slope, x minus my x coordinate minus negative 5. So the homework out of this assignment will be on page 35, 1 through 4, 18 to 20, and 22 to 27. Again, best of luck to you.